When it comes to interoperability, the terms OPC UA and MQTT are undefined. And they originate from opposite sides of the exact same coin. As seen in the figure above, and there's a, a diagram in there on, on the protocol stack, specifying MQTT for equipment defines the base communication protocol, but leaves all the remaining stack undefined which levies a heavy burden on the consumer applications for modeling. He doesn't put for modeling in there, but that's what he means. Integration hurdles for the consumer include learning of the topic paths implemented by the producer. So how did they organize the data? Determining whether the health of the producer can be monitored through the last will testament function. That's a, an element of Sparkplug B. And choosing which quality of service level to use. Um, that is, do I absolutely guarantee it gets to the consumer? Do I just send it one time? Do I send it many times? Or do I guarantee it gets there? Um, knowing whether producers are publishing on a fixed time interval or only on change data and many others. Even more daunting to integrators is that MQTT itself has no definition of the data being transmitted. So the consumer application is forced to accommodate whatever the device selected regarding the encoding scheme data types, and object definitions. If the goal is interoperability, specifying MQTT is not enough. Right, and it has to do with the fact that how data is structured and what is actually in the payload is not specified. It's not part of a specification. So therefore you have to, what we do is we browse and then we try to deduce what we're looking at and then we can do stuff with it. That's better, in my opinion, of not being able to semantically understand what I'm looking at, like a file share. Whereas MQTT is undefined above the communication protocol layer in the data access model, OPC UA has achieved standardization at every level of the data access model. While definitions at each level is an achievement matched by no other technology, the portfolio of specifications includes many choices at each level of the model. Given the plethora of communication protocols, encoding schemes, data types, and object definitions, simply connecting an OPC UA consumer to an OPC UA producer does not guarantee interoperability as each application may select different options going up the stack. An integrator is required to closely evaluate what options at each layer are implemented by the producer device and then ensure it matches the capabilities of the consumer application. Or conversely, the integrator will know the consumer application capabilities and be forced to limit the scope of OPC UA products that may be utilized. If the goal is interoperability, specifying OPC UA is not enough. That is, not all OPC clients can parse all things in every OPC server. Okay? And not all OPC servers can serve to an OPC client everything that that OPC client can parse. That's what he means, okay? Outstanding paper. I highly, highly recommend everyone read this when Matt publishes it. We will include it in the Discord server. I want to put a button on this, okay? In a nutshell, it, MQ, the reason MQTT is being widely, widely adopted, even though it has gaps, is because the gaps in the MQTT specification and the Sparkplug B specification, okay, are gaps that, that allow for flexibility and customizability that still serve short time to value, um, scalability, um, and reliability. And the gaps in the OPC UA specification do the exact opposite. They constrict you and leave you with very few options unless the vendor who developed the OPC solution that you're using is has specifically implemented the solution you need. And that's why MQTT has such wider adoption. Even though, as I've read out to you, there are limitations in those specifications and working with the MQTT committee and Sparkplug B group isn't a very happy experience for every person. Let me say for me, my experience with the Spark Plug B group has been great. But if this guy has had a terrible experience and he's he's somebody, okay, if he's had a terrible experience, it means there are a lot of other people who've had terrible experience as well.